Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, some would say that it's hats off to the Australian dollar balls after taking the challenge back to the 60-day moving average after refreshing its high of 69.82 today. Meanwhile, the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, was a little bit weaker, around 106.20. All eyes this week look towards two numbers. One is the Australian CPI, which is out Wednesday. And along with that, we're expecting a larger than uh, rate hike, that is, of around 75 basis points. However, although the market is probably factored in the 75 basis point, I don't feel that the US dollar will rally if we get that number. However, it's more about what the statement has to say after the announcement and along with that to see whether the central bank is expecting to outline its hawkish policy stance or will it overlook and maybe give it a dovish overturn. Nevertheless, all eyes on Jerome Powell at 4.30 with the announcement at 4am Sydney time when he takes question and answers in a press conference for 30 minutes. So let's see if the market does maintain its body stance. But as I mentioned, if we do see a, a little bit of a dovish call, then I do anticipate that the Australian dollar will go beyond 69.85 and look up towards 70 to about 70.65 as a potential target. So I'd like to leave that just in there, just to give you a bit of an idea where I'm viewing. This is where the market is likely to head to. With any pullback, sees a shallow dip towards 69.35 and a base at 68.70. To some surprise, even though the US dollar has been somewhat weak, the market is finding a bit of a difficulty for the euro, that is, at 102.7080. I do feel we are still in a prime position to see that level break and see a rally on towards this downtrend, which you can see is quite significant and comes in roughly around 104 figure 40. Reassess from there. All eyes will be looking towards the Fed. Along with that, there is also speculation that the European Central Bank has joined in its global peers to bring down so, um, rallying inflation and maybe raise interest rates beyond 50 base points that we just recently seen and expect to see another one delivered anywhere from 25 to 50. That would also strengthen the euro. So it's a bit of a battle at the moment. Who will overthrow the market when it comes to the bulls and bears? In light of the pattern, I'm going with a bullish euro at the moment and a weaker US dollar. Saying that, we're finding a bit of a support here when it comes to dollar yen around 135.70 with the trend line seen at 134.6090. There has been much talk of intervention by the Bank of Japan if the market rallies beyond the top side here around 39.50. And what I mean by that is that they will intervene and try and send the market lower or more to the point, weaken the US dollar and strengthen the yen because we are getting extremely, extremely overbought here. Do be on your guard because we may see a bounce off 134.6090 or profit taking. Sterling keeping to its bullish trek since the hammer and also the last four days being positive could see the market take the challenge towards that top side of 121.6070, which is where the downtrend is and reassess from there. We would need to see that level pop to get the market back on towards 123 to 125. So it is a key level, so do keep an eye on it. Finishing off with gold and oil, well, the market still maintains its bullish stance since holding above the level of 1,714. My view to the top side to 42 to 46 still holds while 14 is intact. However, a New York close under 14 could reinstate the downside and therefore look back towards the key level around 1,686 to 91. But in light of the technicals holding to a positive case, I'm still holding the view to the top side at this present stage to around 42 to 46. And the rebound of 92 2040 for oil has put a very much sharp up trek and could even see a rally on to $99.6595 uh, due to the fact that the market is strengthening. Overall, though, it really depends if we can crack these two levels. And though the trend does come in roughly around 97.5, I feel that the market may actually look beyond there and may actually see some stops going off and rally towards 99, 65, 95, and then a rejection back towards that bottom side of the range. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, without the intro report, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.